Hello, I'm Jim Riggs. Today I'd like to show you the process of making cordage from plant fibers. Cordage is one of the most important early skills that man developed. Today we're going to deal with three plants that produce what I consider the finest and strongest of cordage. This cordage is useful for snares, fishing lines, items like that where you need fairly small diameter cord, but cord that is real strong. I normally begin by starting in the center of the stem and smashing it downward. Then I carry this, this smash all the way out to each end. So I continue this initial smash out to each end of the stem. What normally happens in this uh, smashing of the stem is that it tends to break in approximately four quarters. Now, what you want to do is, again starting in the middle, try and grab so you have roughly half on each side. Accentuate the split, go ahead and stick your finger through there. And slowly slide a finger out to each end. I usually start at the, the base or the butt end, the thick end, and simply hold it with the pithy side up and snap upward. And then peel back this woody part and discard it. And I do this a couple times. The idea here is to get all of the woody part off of your fiber and bark layer. You don't want any little pieces of the woody part left on the bark layer. The more of the bark layer that you get off, essentially the stronger your final cordage will be because the bark serves no, no useful or structural purpose in there. Uh, the finer the fiber, the tighter the cordage, and the better and stronger it will be. So watch this movement. I twist away, and then I grab the bottom one and switch places, always bringing the top one in front of the bottom one, and thus the bottom becomes the top. Twist away, grab it, cinch them up where they cross. This process, once you get this down, becomes very fast. Twist away, switch places, always bringing the top one in front of the bottom one. If, uh, if you begin this and you wonder if you're doing the right thing, simply let go of the point where you're holding where they cross over. And if it stays in place, you've been doing the right motions. If it wants to unravel, then you've perhaps been crossing over in the wrong direction. 